All right. I can see you on Zoom just looking at yourself. <laughs> well, I'm seeing if I can focus it while I'm going, but it doesn't look like I can. What would you describe as your level of vanity? Like, are you are you you're the most vain person in in your group of friends? <laughs> I don't think so. I could name some <laughs> other people that are much more vain. Yeah, vain. name them. Name Peter them Carlone. and shame them. What? Um, I'm not vain. <laughs> yes, you are. Think about I'm it. Doing... Think about this. Why did you shave your head? Because, well, because I think I look much better and I want to present a... <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I got you. Oh, no. I got you. <laughs> this time, this time, this time, this time, it's different. With Peter and Chris. This time, this time, this time, this time, it's different. <laughs> you wanted to get ahead of the balding. The, the balding. You so you, you're you're gonna look the same way forever <laughs> now. Like it's like you can just look this way and it's great. I've frozen my look. Yeah. Uh, and you're frozen in time. And so you've think thought about it more than, than I ever have. I've never <laughs> I've never thought about shaving my head. <laughs> my hair is too lush and full right now. For the okay, time see, being. No, see, for the time the being. That's the vanity coming back. <laughs> <laughs> for the time being. What is it your is. what is your um, hair plan? Like, do you know hair plan for men? What what's I've coming got up? no hair life? plan, and I don't know what to do because I don't know yet. I think I'm right at the line. I'm like. It what? could be this. I could okay. have this hair, or it's just gonna slowly go away, and then in ten years, I'm like, oh yeah, look at that hairline. I should have done something about that a while ago. <laughs> well, there's not up. much to do about it except for shave it. <laughs> well, like, I could be, you know, spend a lot of money. Yeah. You know, I'm an actor. We're very, very vain. You see. <laughs> <laughs> um, but. You know, Elon Musk, he's got great looking hair, but again, he's a billionaire, so that's why. Oh, and, well, and look up old photos. Like, look up photos when he was, like, selling PayPal. And exactly, the, yeah. The man was more of a Peter. Then, fast forward <laughs> 10, 15 years, and now he's more of a Chris Wilson. <laughs> he's a full Robert Downey Jr., a full Tony Stark. Just Yeah, yeah he looks gorgeous. He looks great. Well, he doesn't, I mean, he looks great. I think he looks good. I think he, I think he looks good, yeah. A billionaire, all, but yeah. if we look at Bezos, who's obviously a billionaire, yeah, he's gone full Lex Luthor on us all. He has gone um, full but, Lex Luthor, <laughs> but he has the money to have a full head of hair. But I guess yeah. it, he left it too long. He can't just show up to work tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> with this beautiful head of billionaire's hair and have no one say anything about it. And everybody, everybody is sweating so hard because it's like, oh, we all notice it, but we're fucked if we say you anything. Don't want to get fired from your <laughs> shitty Amazon job. <laughs> Hi, hey, Jeff. Hey, Hi, oh, Jeff. wow, nice. Uh, don't say hair. Don't say hair. Don't say hair don't nice. Say hair. Head of no hair. You're fired. No. Yeah. You're fired. Thank you. Thank you. You're fired. Yes, it is nice hair. You're fired. Oh, this old thing? Oh, I just decided to put a little gel in it today. You were bald. Uh, you were bald yesterday. You were bald yesterday and for 10 years. You were bald for 10 years and yesterday as well. <laughs> but you know what? It's not going so bad for us. We can be we're we're billionaires soon. Oh, we made it, dude. We made it to the top. We have made it to the top. I don't know, listener. Hello, listener. If hello, you've been listener. listening to us so far. This time the podcast is different because yeah. you are now listening to a award-winning podcast. Award winning. Award winning. Now, Best prior to this podcast, comedic <laughs> podcast. I can't remember the specific title. Best comedic series. Oh, it's a Canadian series. Canadian Podcast oh. Award. Yeah. Okay, pr prior to this podcast, it was just award winners in a podcast, but now it's award winners in an award winning and podcast. It's a double award winning thing. It's a little bit of a look, <laughs> us, uh, look at us now. Yeah. You know, I still stumble on my words when I'm trying to get them out, as yeah, you just heard. Yeah, but that's part of it. But that's part of it. That's part of it. And they're award winning stumbles. You know, you can't <laughs> take those away. You can't take away my award. It feels well, and it's. Do yeah. you do you yeah. feel different now that you're in a award-winning 
uh, person in an award-winning podcast? Well, Chris, let me answer that question for you. Yeah, um, lean into the vanity because you deserve <laughs> it. You deserve it. That's such a that's such a classic podcast thing that I'm trying not to do, but I do it all the time, which is qualify the sentence I'm about to say. I'm mm -hmm. always like, well, let me just let me say this, or like, I, you know what I'm going to say is I'm going to say this. That's such a podcast. If you listen to podcasts, it's such a podcasting thing. It's such a um, this time in our lives kind of thing. Like you, you preface everything in COVID these days. You're like. We were going out, socially distanced, of course, masks on. <laughs> and then when we were at the table, we took the masks off. But here's my story, finally. And you're like, oh boy, this sucks. <laughs> this is a sea of preface. <laughs> God. So much prefacing. But to your question was, do I feel different? Do I feel bigger? And the answer is all around yes. I feel yeah. superior. I feel stronger, uh, mm -hmm. wiser. I feel... Um, yeah, just better than a lot of people, I think. Yeah, and, and might I say, if I could give you a compliment, and I think it'll feel better coming yeah. from me because I'm okay. an award-winning podcaster now. <laughs> right, yeah, uh, your, your that, opinion means more. Yeah, the, the way you're speaking now, the, the yeah. way you're talking, it sounds richer in, in multiple ways, in both oh. money, tone, and just like quality of what you're saying. One hundred percent, and I, and I it. yeah, I agree with you, and I want to parrot that back to you. I know you've already done the compliment, but mm -hmm. if I could say something to you, I would say you also sound richer yeah. in tone and money, and then okay. also just in the way, you, just the, like here is something people always say, and I don't understand what it means. The way you carry yourself oh seems God. more I, confident. No, I know what you mean. I, I don't know, know what, what that means. means. I don't it know what means it means, but I know the how to way use it. That you. Um, it, it means the way that you um, you walk or I don't know what it means, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> That's the thing. It doesn't matter because I carry myself so well that. Yeah, it's just it's just so it cool. doesn't matter. Yeah, you're very, oh, very cool. I'm chuffed. You, you and appear I might, I want, chuffed. You're I acting wanna, chuffed. And, and now that I'm, you know, an award winner, I want to say that a lot of people use the word chuffed wrong. I feel in life. Oh, really? They say like. Oh, I was chuffed. Oh, like I was mad. I was chuffed. Ooh, oh. I'm chuffed at you, which is not at all correct. It's not. Um, the, oh, chuffed means to be very confident, um, and you're full of yourself, and you're feeling ooh, chuffed. Well, you know if I, mean? I can just chuffed. say, Chris, if I can just say, you do, you appear very full of yourself. Thank you. And uh, um, and that's and that's that's the way you should be. If you're going to work your buns off once a week for one hour mm -hmm. a week, you know, and then and then the hour it takes us to get it edited, mm -hmm. you we deserve to be a and little the, full of it. And sometimes, you know, sometimes, and I apologize to you, listener, um, we skip a week with no rhyme or reason. But I want you to know we're up to important things doing important duties, and that's totally. why we've skipped it. 100%. That's why we skip. I feel just, like, so... Um, jacked about Not this award. It's chuffed I, it's and like jacked. Chuffed and jacked. <laughs> that I feel. I was yeah. like, look at me now. If yeah. if they could see us now, I kind of feel like. Well, I and so I like had I had the perfect someone's face. <laughs> I had the perfect opportunity. I love that idea, by the way. I had the perfect yeah. opportunity. Um, and I kind of. And it's, it's great because if you know you have something on somebody, like if you know you have leverage or timing, uh, you know, that makes it even better. So, for example, uh, my wife found out not from me that we had won the award, but just from, yeah. from the grapevine because I guess so much media is talking about it. <laughs> um, so, uh, so... I think Did she probably she happened upon maybe our Instagram <laughs> account and that, that was it because... yeah. Because it, it was on there for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're so right. anyway, it was she, on others as well. Well, no, Chris. And what I'm saying, Chris, is Instagram in general. When you say Instagram, like I saw it on Instagram, you don't have to qualify where. It's just media. It's now. media. It's just, it yeah, exists. It's out there. Yeah. So it doesn't yeah. matter that she saw it specifically because I asked her to follow our podcast. She uh, she saw it <laughs> how she saw it. She saw it how she saw it. And then she comes up to me and she's like, um, Oh, like, congrats. I saw you guys won the podcast award. Like, that's so good. And then I, but I knew, I was like, this is my chance. To, to rub it in her face, because that's what a good relationship is. It's a yeah. series of just, like, one-upping each other, right? So this was my chance to get a couple of points on her and yeah. to beat her a little bit, to, like, defeat her. Um, and so I acted 
nonplussed. I know you're feeling jacked and chuffed. I'm being nonplussed about it because I expected to win. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So oh, when yeah, she's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah she's yeah. like, oh, you won, you won. And I was like, I've got this on her. I'm going to use it. And so I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, did we? That's cool. Went that right back to playing Minecraft. Awesome. Do you want to know what I did? I was <laughs> also took the nonplussed approach. You mean nonplussed uh, with it? That I loved what you did to yeah. to your wife, by the way. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah, 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 so yeah. cool. Just dismiss her about the award is so neat and cool. Put her right but in her place. This like, is oh, what I, I did. Care. So uh, um, uh, be my girlfriend and say uh, congrats, okay? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. Okay. I've got to get into her mind. I'll show you what I did. I'll show you what I've I did. I've got to get into her mind. Okay. Hang on. I'm just going to feed my dogs for a second. Oh, okay. good. Oh, big stretch. Mm-hmm. Wait, what's this on Instagram? Oh, oh, Chris. Hey, Chris. You, did you know you won the uh, podcast award? That's awesome. That congrats. <sighs> I'm sorry. I was sleeping. What did you say? What did I you sa- say? <laughs> I said. I said you won. Congrats. You won that podcast award. Congrats. Get out. I'm trying to sleep. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, you you probably have a big you probably have a big episode coming up. I'm, I'll get out of here. I, I was. Already knew I was a winner. Someone entered into my dreams to tell me. Because I'm. <laughs> well, I don't see how I don't see how I'm getting in trouble for that, Christopher. Because I feel like uh, you know I just want to be supportive and I want to congratulate you. And I didn't know you were napping, so that's not okay. Like okay, well, this my get, fault. Okay, uh, t- stop, stop the role play. Oh, that was getting, stop role play? It was just it was just getting too too real. So <laughs> I was just like I was like. Uh, I was like, it's not a joke anymore. This is so real. It's so <laughs> okay. But well, it's okay. Like, girlfriends aside, girlfriends yeah, aside. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like a lot of the stuff I do is out of spite. A lot of the stuff I do is like, oh, I want to prove those people wrong. Yes, that they I were am wrong. Fueled about me. by spite as well. I'm a big and I have fight, so many. You fueled. have so many friends who are like engineers and accountants and stuff like that. And every Christmas I go home and they're like, so how's you know how's comedy going? Yeah, and right. They say it in that tone. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> right and that's why we do these things and that's why we get to the top of the podcasting world exactly like winning this award because now so, yeah who's be- who's better now you're exactly. a doctor we've won yeah. a podcasting award and what, what a doctor award for yeah. talking yeah 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 oh chris you know, hey chris you should, what chris i could be a do- here watch this is what doctors do all day oh um why don't you take an advil and drink lots of water yeah, yeah, or or <laughs> otherwise, I'm gonna be a doctor. I'm gonna be a doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be a doctor. Be a doctor. Oh no! Oh, they've died because I did a bad job today. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. That's right? well. Okay, so you're being a bad doctor. That, yeah, bad they're doctor. bad at it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it would suck. Yeah. <laughs> but no, we but that's should... a good point. Like we do much more, I would say, for the world. Yeah. Um, than than like a friggin' doctor or an accountant yeah, or whatever. I agree. Yeah. You should. If you could tell anybody right now about the podcast award, who would you phone up My right mom. now? Oh, your mom. Um. <laughs> no, 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 no. The, your mom's already proud. You got to phone somebody up to rub this podcasting award in their face. Who yeah. would you do? Okay, like, okay, okay. I would. I, I would. I would call like um, girl I had a crush on in high school, or I would call. Her- I was. Bu- I was bullied a lot. I was bullied a tremendous amount. You so were I- bullied. <laughs> Yeah, like, well, I, because I had red hair, but not on my cool beard on top of my head and nothing on my chin. <laughs> I had nothing on my no chin. I had no chin and red hair on my head. And I was you scrawny. Should, I was a scrawny little boy. You should you know? phone your bully. Phone uh, him up right now. Phone my bully? Phone your bully and rub this podcast in his face. Okay. Yeah. Do okay. It. I mean, we made it. We made it to this point. So this is the time. Pick up your phone. It's his his number's probably the same as in high school. Yeah, yeah, it is. Five oh seven three one five seven nine two two one one one. Okay. Here it is. Bully. I don't know why I put him in my phone as bully, but I guess it's so that when he called to tell me I was, you know, whatever mm-hmm. like an, that you were prepared. Uh, yeah. yeah, I would be like, Oh oh hang on, I gotta get this. It's my bully. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Here we go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. I'm what dialing. Am I? Yeah, we've got him in. I've got him patched in. <clears throat> I think it's ringing. Hello. Hi. Hey. Um. Is this uh? Is this uh? Is this Brent? Uh. Yes, it is. Speaking. <laughs> hey, Brent. Listen, I don't Hello? know if you. 
yeah, hey, hey, don't um, don't interrupt me, please. I don't I, know I'm if sorry. you. I'm oh, so sorry. Can I, Brent. Yep. Just let me explain who I am, so you know who's calling you. Uh, and of then... course, I'm waiting for that. Uh, you have the floor, sir. Oh, 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 thanks. Oh, that's an insider term. Okay. Listen, Brent. <laughs> I don't know if you know know who I am. My name is Peter. Does that name, does that single first name ring any bells? Uh, as a matter of fact, it does. I know many Peters. I've known many Peters in my life. Uh, All right. Peter uh, Latroon. <laughs> uh, I work no, with him. Peter. He's a great yeah. colleague of mine. Peter Brent. Johnson, another, he's my neighbor. I know uh, Peter um, Brent? De Demarius. Uh, Brent? A bit of a bully to me in high school, Peter Demarius. Oh. <laughs> he really got me. Peter uh, Demarius was a bully? I don't bully like team? talking about him too much. Uh, Peter Tyler's. Peter okay, Tyler's. Brent? Brent, yes, shut the. Who's my mechanic? Brent, I don't give a shit about Peter Tyler's. Okay, oh, God. fuck Peter oh, Tyler's. Goodness. Brent, goodness. listen to me. You yeah. you think Peter? You think Peter? The other Peter, Demarius, was a, t a bully to you? Well, guess what? This Peter, yes. Peter Carlone, was that? Remember that little redhead kid that you called a fire crotch piece of shit every single day for two years in high school? <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that you? Don't laugh. What? Fire crotch piece of shit, is that you? Hey, don't. <laughs> you little fire crotch piece of shit. Hey, <laughs> How no, are this, you? Is, this is How supposed are to be. You? A... What, you, what you been up to? I'm doing good. Well, you know what I've been up to? Getting to the <laughs> top of the podcast world. How about that? Oh, what are those? How about that? What? What do you mean, what are those? Well, what are podcasts? Do you. Okay, do you listen. God damn it. Brent, do you listen to, like, the radio? Oh, I know radio, yes. Okay. Yeah. Are you so on you the radio? No, not actually, definitely not. Do you know how we've been, okay, do you know how on the radio sometimes there's like people talking in between songs and then they talk for a while and they do little bits and like oh, interview yes, people? Oh, yes, a DJ, a disc jockey, a, uh, a, uh, a radio personality, a person <laughs> on the radio. Yes. Brent, we went, to the, we went to high school together. You're the mm -hmm. same age as me. Why do you, <laughs> why do you not know all of this stuff? I went to a bunch of school and uh, and uh, I just grew up. I'm an architect and I'm a lawyer on the side. I didn't so ask, I... Brent. I didn't even get to the part where I ask <laughs> what you are. All right. I called up to tell you you were a piece of shit bully and yes. that I'm... I'm that I'm, I have a, I'm in a podcast. I don't know what those are. I'm trying to explain, Wait, Brent. So you're on the radio. I'm not on the radio. It's not on the... It's so on your phone. what are you bragging about? I'm trying. <laughs> Listen, as I as you're asking me, it is getting harder to remember what I'm bragging about. But I'm trying to tell you, Brent, that it's actually kind of a big deal. It's you download it. It's an audio file that you download, and then you you press a button, and you you automatically download this particular group's audio file every week or whenever oh, they put it out, like an album. Like on Spotify, an album, and you're paid, you're on a record label, you're a musician. No, you're it's... You're a famous musician now. I'm not, even, no, I'm not that either. It's different. Famous musicians don't have the same ability to just hold a conversation that I do and, and, and stay, you know, stay, stay in it and, and be funny at all times. Like a musician can't do that. Musicians have to take breaks. You know, we mm -hmm. don't take breaks except for when we don't do an episode for three weeks in a row. But we'll, we, but with, then when we're doing them again we're on top of it and we're so on top of it that we got an award brent i have an award for what i what this is you got an award for the radio or whatever the fuck it was you were saying <laughs> I don't. what's the title of the award i'm sorry i'm i'm sorry i'm uh, belittling you your award and we haven't spoken for years what what is the award brent it's the it's the award for best comedy best comedy podcast series in Canada. Best comedy podcast. Oh, in, oh, in, oh, in Canada. Oh, God damn it, Brandon. You're going to pick oh, up on that. Oh, it's one of those. <laughs> it's like a, a baseball stat when you're like, oh, he hit the most home runs uh, by a left handed pitcher uh, when the wind was 40 knots in this specific. Uh, arena uh, uh, baseball f you, you suck <laughs> yeah, shut up uh, you suck okay are you know what i'm hanging up on you i'm done with you brent i'm not done with you hey. no, no no did that go well oh no chris so well <laughs> yeah dude so well it was like it felt so good to just show him how much better your, i've become your phone's ringing your phone's ringing i think he's phoning you back i don't want to talk to brent again okay what pick him up pick him up yellow yeah, 
Hey, sorry, you cut me off, you little fire crotch piece of shit. I, I hung up on you, you on purpose. you still have a fire crotch? Tell me, you yes. must still have it. Yes, oh, I you, do. So you let those pubes grow out nice and long then? Is that what you do? I yeah. didn't know you were supposed to shave them. I didn't. Oh, I, just I shave them. mine clean because I'm a lawyer and an architect. My okay, scrotum Brent. is shorn and shiny. You, yours is a fire crotch, and you're a piece of <laughs> shit. Don't you ever Brent. forget that. You want to know the buildings it. that I've designed? Bunches. Every building that you see, I did. <laughs> you Every know, building. <laughs> yes, my idea was for square building. <laughs> Any fancy building you, you see, not me, but if you just see a building, up, square, rectangular, that's me. You're square I'm building guy? Ri- I'm square building guy, and I am rich. No, I figured you were rich. Okay, well, you know what? I'm rich in a different way, Brent. Okay, I'm rich in friends and that's, laughs. That's not, that's not rich. <laughs> that's, it's not. You're right. That's what a but poor listen, person says. Brent... <laughs> Brent, you know what? I'm done. I'm done with you, buddy. Hey, All right. Oh. Any last words? Yes. Too, too late. Fire crotch. Fuck oh, you. Oh, God damn it. Okay, I'm hanging up. Hmm. You put yeah, that, on, wait, wait. You put that on speakerphone. I heard everything. Oh, you heard that? But right. whatever. You're he, amazing. You don't need that guy. Chris, What? what is a podcast? It's a How form do you describe of- it? It's a radio radio on your phone. It doesn't matter. You don't need to describe it. It's undescribable. Okay, well, it, you're you're right. It is. It's indescribable. But the thing it's is, you, something you have to that everybody it. has. It's, exactly. It is. It's air. I don't know. Well, and and you heard him. He's an architect. It's like if I hadn't heard of buildings, that the square building guy wouldn't be that big of a deal. If I had not been inside a single building, I'd be like, what's an architect? Do you know what I mean? It's the same thing as podcasts. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. It's the same. You know what? Okay. Who? I want to phone somebody. You up. take a turn. You take a turn because I'm I'm tired of this. Like this, you know. I I need to I need to unwind for a second. Let's see if you do it. You show me how it's done. Okay. I'm gonna. Who do you want to call? My childhood pediatrician. To ru- uh, to I want to tell that yes that I have a popular podcast. I'm I'm want to do it. Okay. All right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That maybe the that's reason not why work. I need yeah. to phone this person I, is a bit private, and I can't speak about it with you, doctor. Patient confidentiality. Of course. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Um, I can't discuss that with you. Yeah. Um, I want to, uh, but we're maybe, gonna find out. Uh, but not on the pod. Uh, right. Okay. But okay. yeah. Okay. Call him up. Do you still have his number? Your childhood pediatrician. Yes. Yeah. All right. I'll just dial him up. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, rub it in his face. This is the episode. Rubbing it in it's, people's faces. It's ringing. Okay. <clears throat> Dr. Sanders' office. Uh, can I help you? Hi, I'm looking to speak with Dr. Sanders, please. It's oh, this is Chris- he? Oh, hey. Hey, Dr. Sanders. It's, uh... Sorry, who is this? It's Chris Wilson. <laughs> Great. You might have heard of me. Do you have an appointment uh, coming up for your child? Do you have a child? Uh, do you have a child, and you're calling me? No, I him? am a former. I am a former uh, patient of yours, Chris Wilson. You might remember me. You probably okay. kept tabs on me. Pretty famous. Uh, I suppose I can. I can flip through my uh, forms here. And just, like, yeah, why don't you and... flip through those forms there? Yeah. Are you how long? How old are you, son? Uh, uh, Thirty-six years old. Oh, well, oh, okay, okay, the records aren't going to be in my, hang on, let me go to my computer here. The records aren't going to be in my, uh, on, on paper anymore. Those are, those okay, well, let me just fill you in, okay? Okay, Dr. Hang Sanders? On, hang on, I'm just, I'm just <clears throat> blowing off the keyboard to this old computer here. Can you hear that? That's, I'm just typing it in there. You can hear All that. right, and Chris Bilson, how do you spell your last name, please? Wilson. Oh. It's Wilson. Okay. You, you should have heard of me. Wilson, enter. Been on TV a couple times. An actor. Wilson. Hang on, I've got it here. Full head of hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Christopher. Oh, okay, I kind of remember you. Don and Susie. That's right, yeah. Right. I'm calling to tell you that um, you can't embarrass me. And Yes, oh. it's all cleared up. Yeah. You can't embarrass me anymore. <laughs> the rash is gone, and I am the winner of a podcast award. That's right. 
You embarrassed me in front of my mom <laughs> one time in the doctor's office. I don't you said you have a rash. I, okay, I see. Well, on your butt. And I had to show you my butt, and also my mom was in the room, and I had to show my mom my butt, and that was embarrassing. Okay, and, and you know, technically it was not a rash, it's more of an eczema, uh, and I'm glad to hear it cleared up, but listen, I, I, that, I'm not, I wasn't embarrassing. You know, I held on to that job. forever. For 30 years, I held on to that. I know it's your job, but the way you said it, you had like this tone. You said, you went, you have eczema. And then you turned to my mom and you went, he has eczema. And I, you I broke doctor patient confidentiality right then and there in the room. Listen, Chris. It was between Chris, you and I. I know it was, understand, as your pediatrician, I have to explain to somebody. You were very young at, at the time. And if I remember correctly, it was very hard to talk to you. You wouldn't. You were crying quite a lot. You wouldn't stop blubbering, and so I had to tell your mom. I had to tell somebody. Uh, well, I had like scaly skin on my butt. Of course, <laughs> it was. Of course, it was all blubbery. And listen, Chris, I, I absolutely understand. I understand that that was a tough time for you, and and I just want to say something um, that I'm I'm proud that you got. What did you? What was that? You got a little radio thing. You got a song on the radio. I have a podcast award and a podcast. So I, you can't embarrass, and that's not an embarrassing thing. No, Some people ha find it embarrassing, but I don't. And I want you to know that. So Chris, yeah, when people, when people came into the office, you probably yeah. remember this too. I would normally give them give them a little suckers. I would say, "Do you want a sucky suck?" Which you know, in hindsight, <laughs> uh, I shouldn't have said it like you that. You should have I, said it like that. It was a different. It's you know what? weird. It You're a, a doctor. It's, I was okay. trying to be cutesy about it. I was trying to make people feel better because they come in for their booster <laughs> shots, or they come in for their hair, they come in for their, um, they come in for for a, for a scaly butt. Okay, and I do. What do you call a, them now? What do you call suckers now? Sucky poos. A <laughs> guy called them sucky poos. Is that better? Do you think? Would that be? Is that a thing we can it's talk about? It's not worse. Okay, it's not well, worse. What I'm trying to get at is, is this about embarrassing your mom? Or is this um, that I ran out of sucky poos and you didn't get one that day? It's because you ran out of sucky poos and I didn't get one poos. that day. Okay, I understand. I just wanted, I wanted a sucky suck and you didn't have any more <laughs> and... <laughs> Yeah, I ran and out of I wanted sucker, one, I and I, I and I the last kid who was in there, you gave him one, and it was a yeah. red one, and it happens to be my favorite. And he yeah. came out, and as he as he came out, <laughs> he passed me in the hallway, and he said, "Fuck you, I got the last one." Oh God! And he was um, also six, and I didn't know where he had learned that language, but yeah. I soon learned once I got to school that that was a bad word. So I get into your office and I'm like, it can't be true. It can't be true. And uh, it was true. You didn't have true. any more sucky sucks. I had just given out my last sucky And I had a sucks. rash on my butt. And yeah, all I, I needed from you, other than ointment or whatever the fuck it was that you gave me, I needed a sucker or a sucky poo. And yeah, and I had, and and as you were, and I remember this. And to your credit, I guess it seems like you did. It's all coming back to me now. But on your way out, you had said, you know, I want a sucky suck. Give me sucky suck. I'll never forget this. I'll, I'll come back for you. And and you know, you you came back a number of times because I was still your pediatrician. But I do remember that that our you know sort of thing changed that day. You got a little more upset with me uh, in our visits, and uh, I just wanted to say, you know, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry I ran out of sucky poos. Um, and uh, if you want to come by the office, I don't know if you're going to be in Sanishton anytime soon, but if you want to come by the office and, uh, you know, come by and say hi, I can, I can, I'll give you a little sucky poo. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You want that? That sounds great. Yeah. Okay. That sounds nice. So, so, okay. Well, let's get back to the, listen, I'm, I'm proud when my patients do well and I'm proud. That no, that's fine. I just, uh, just knowing and... that uh, I've got a sucker coming my way is, is good. Uh, we're done. We're done. Did you want me to be a guest on your? Uh, no, no, no. We're we're fine. We're actually fine. 
I just wanted oh. to rub that in your face. Okay. Thanks, Dr. Sanders. Oh, you're Thank welcome. You. You're welcome, Chris Wilson. Don't say you're welcome. Don't 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 you're say you're welcome. welcome. Glad okay. I could help. Glad I could settle that and make you feel better. Okay, I'll be. I'll come by though. You'll have a sucker ready. Oh yeah, you would. Uh, I'll, I'll yell, "Who's here for his sucky suck?" And then I'll let you <laughs> in, and then we'll bring you in and give you a little sucky boot. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> All right, so that went pretty well with him, I thought. Um, so Chris, what he was talking about? Yeah, yeah. sorry. Um, were we doing? Because I know you said sp- uh, private confidential information or whatever, patient confidentiality, whatever it's called. Yeah. Um, were we doing? Are, are we doing speaker mode for this? Because that was all that you did that all on uh, just on speaker mode there. Oh, did I? Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, well, OK. So. All right. <laughs> yeah, that was all speakers. That was all. OK, on well, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I now that you now you know that um, I <laughs> was driven by spite because my doctor didn't give me a sucker. Yeah. Oh, and the eczema on my ass, which hasn't cleared up, by the way, now that we're. Uh, it didn't. Cl- it didn't clear up. No, no, no. Why no, didn't no. you it, tell it him? Comes, it comes. <laughs> shit. You should have told him. That was most people when they call a doctor, they do not just get him to pick up right away and find that they have the actual doctor. You could, he has a history with you. Okay, but listen, I didn't. I wasn't <laughs> thinking clear. I'm a, I'm vain. I'm a vain, vain man. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? What? You know who I want to call and rub in the face of? Who? Remember, okay, remember when we were getting all this gear? I got you, I sent you my camera, I was getting a camera, I got these yep. mics, okay? That yep. fucking, that fucking Best Buy guy, he was like, oh, you're another one of the, he was like, oh, another one, of, another podcast, he like rolled his eyes, he was like, oh, oh another yeah. one of you guys. And He's then like, he, he probably won't oh, really he recommended this. some podcast equipment. He recommended podcasts because he was doing his his job and he was doing sales or whatever, but then right. underhand, he was like, you know, you could also just rent these just to try yeah. it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're like, what are you talking about? Try Rent it them. out. This try is for life. Out. We're this is not a try it out situation. Yeah, we're serious we're gonna, about this. We're going to win an award one day. Should I just yeah, go- phone him? Let's phone rub him. it in his face. Freaking phone him and rub it in his dumb face. I don't have his personal number, but just he's phone probably Best more, Buy. Like, I'll just call Best Buy. Yeah. Which was the one we went to? The Broadway uh, the one. Best, yeah, the Broadway one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Phone him. Phone him up. Okay. Phone him up. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Okay. okay, it's ringing, it's ringing, it's ringing. Okay. <clears throat> here we go, here we go. Welcome to Best Buy. If you know what department you'd like to Hey, go fuck with, you! Oh, it's a, it's a, ro- it's a robot. Okay. If you don't know what department you'd like to go with, <laughs> it too. If you um, just accidentally phoned Best Buy, uh, you just hang up now or <laughs> okay. press three and we'll direct you to a person who will help you in assisting you to hang up. If you'd like to hear this all in French, oh my God. I can't. If you'd like to hear this in <laughs> Spanish, press five. All right. I'm just going to press five here real quick. All right. There. I pressed five. You've selected to hear everything in Spanish. <laughs> if that's correct, press one. Yep. If pressing it's one. Correct. Pressed press one. Two. I pressed you, one for sure. Okay. I just pressed you've one. You've selected one to <laughs> hear things in Spanish. There we go. He, we at Best Buy cannot <laughs> do Spanish as it, it might be cultural appropriation. If you think that it could be cultural appropriation, hit one. If you think that we should just go for it, hit two. I think I want to hit two. I want to see what happens. I'm going to hit two. Let's see this. Let's hear this entire menu in Spanish, please. Hola. Would you like... <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. And zero. Zero usually goes to a receptionist. I'm just going to hit zero real quick. Hi. Welcome to Best Buy. How may I help you? Would you like hey, to f- buy f- some electric... <laughs> Hey, what fuck you, you, dude. Hey, fuck you, you piece of shit. You told me to rent a microphone because you wanted me to try it out because maybe I wasn't going to do podcasting for very long, but I would take podcasting very seriously. And so I bought the Shure SM7B and I'm still doing podcasting and I won an award for it. Fuck you. Okay, I think you need the audio department. I'll send you over there right now. That'd be great. Please, Thank you very please much. Please hold. <laughs> do 
Do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do just uh-huh. said, are you playing music? Set up professional <laughs> audio and audio settings. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I was doing a good enough job with this fake shitty elevator music that Zoom was like, oh, this is music. This is music. It, it, and he, it, he needs help with the audio settings. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't need help with the music. He just needs help oh, getting that music God. out. Anyway, I think the the hold music is done now, and and I think a person's about to pick up. No, is that? Are you the DM of this bit? <laughs> Hello, welcome to Best Buy, uh, the uh, the phone version of Best Buy. Welcome to me. How about hi, I help you? <laughs> yeah, hi. Listen, I kind of lost some of my steam there with your with your hold music. There, I was. Wait a minute, I recognize these dulcet tones. You recognize my tones? Yeah. Oh my God! I've heard this voice before. Oh, <gasps> Peter Carlone, is that you? Remember you remember my first and last name? Of course, I remember you. I recommended you podcasting equipment, and I thought in my head, this man has the pipes for podcasting. I have to recommend him the best mic. I'm sorry. Wait. On that day, I remember, I came into work. I was a really? little bit. I was a little bit grumpy because there wasn't any cereal left at my house. You know when you pour your cereal into the bowl and only yeah. three come out? Yeah. Well, that ruined my day. Well, because you're I like, was... who would put the box back? Who exactly. would put the... just throw I it out? I was pissed. And I don't live with anybody, so I had nobody to blame but myself. Oh. <laughs> so there I oh, okay. was, walking to work, grumbling to myself. Oh, you've done it again, Jaron. You've done it again. You're going to work on an empty stomach. You're going to be hangry with the customers. And there you were, asking for podcasting equipment. 12 o'clock, 03 in the afternoon. I heard dulcet pipes, beautiful resonance coming from over my left shoulder. Wow, you remember a lot of this. <laughs> <laughs> this is I very... <laughs> I, I could barely make out your voice over the sounds of my grumbling stomach, but... As I turned to make my ears more towards your mouth, (laughs) your resonance broke through my grumbling stomach. And I thought, (laughs) by God, this man deserves to be sold the Shure SM7B, the podcasting mic, the Cadillac of podcasting mics. (laughs) And, And I did. I said... Sir, I already know why you're here. You need a podcasting mic for your podcast. But I said it in a shitty tone, because again, I was grumpy. And it came off bad. And to that, I apologize. How's the podcast going? Uh, Good? Did you continue? It doesn't feel... It doesn't doesn't feel as good to rub it in your face now, but... I don't what? even know if I am going to tell you. My face. I'm so no. sorry about my tone that day. No, it's fine. It's just like, honestly, that that interaction wasn't that great because I was nervous and I and I I believed in myself. Like I thought we would have a good podcast, mm. and I just needed some gear. I knew you'd but have th- a good podcast. I yeah. know, but but this interaction, you know, isn't going very well because I kind of needed to rub it in in somebody's face, like make you feel bad. You needed, but. Well, just because I, I thought you were so mad, so mean, but I, now that I know you're not, it kind of I wrecks the. I was angry. Yeah, you were hangry. I was well, pissed you, off because I didn't have cereal that day. Do they not give you like good meal breaks at Best Buy or? No, that's the thing. Come here. You you promise not to tell anybody. I well, I might broadcast all of this, but yeah. They don't give us meal breaks here. <laughs> at no all. Meal breaks. We work ten hour shifts. 10 hours and that's why I was so upset coming into work that day because I I I knew that I had 9 more hours of work 
I, my shift started at 11 a.m., which is ungodly hour to wake up in an ungodly time. Uh huh. It's so early. <laughs> I'm a night well, that, owl, you see. Yeah. So it must be rough to work at a day owl job. Oh, gosh. When you have to wake up at 11 a.m., it might as well be 6 when you're a night owl. Ask me when I go to bed. When, when do you go to bed? 8 a.m. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's the worst. So you're, you're totally sleep deprived and you work at a crappy dead end job selling gear to people like me and, and you're hangry for most of it. I used to work at Future Shop, but they took that away from us. We used to work <laughs> they on did. commission. We worked on commission and we were making pant loads of money, but then they took that away from <laughs> us and they took away our jobs. Uh, they took away our commission and our livelihood. You know what? I gotta say, now... This is great for me because I just wanted to say to you, it yes. sounds like you have a crappy dead end job and I have an amazing podcast and I just won a comedy oh. podcasting award for it. And you're what? a piece of shit. What? No. Rub that in your face. No, don't. How does that don't feel? Don't me while I'm down. How does what that feel? What are you doing? Life's going what? great for me. Why kick me when I'm down? I'm sorry. I was just, that was the mode I was in. You know, you were hangry that day. I'm, I'm. I needed to rub it in your face today. Is this all going to be on the podcast? Yeah, I thought I'd probably edit some of it out, maybe, but... <laughs> Don't edit this out, please. Keep it in. Please, the world must know. Please, the world must know about... Yeah, we'll yeah, cut hung, that. We'll cut, we're going to cut all that. Yeah, yeah, cut I all that hung out, up right? on him. Yeah. yeah. No, that was pretty good. At first, I was, like, feeling bad for him, and then I realized this was the whole point, to feel superior. So then I just, boom, waited till he was down, <laughs> yeah, rubbed it in his down. face. That's so awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome being at the top. Yeah. I love that we made it to the top. I mean, this is the top, right? Like, the, is, are we, is this monetized now? Is it, are we, is that a thing? I have to believe that something bigger is happening now. Right. Yeah. I have to believe it. Yeah, otherwise, why keep going at all? <laughs> what are we why doing? keep going? What are we oh. doing with our mm. lives, Chris? <laughs> I just thought of somebody who I want to rub it in their face. Yeah, yeah, rub it in their face. Who? My youth pastor from uh, <laughs> from from middle school. And when I used to, when I went to church, I got to rub yeah, it yeah, in yeah. my face because okay, he, he was like, face. "You're not on the path. You're not on the path." Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I was like, "This they path is going that. to the top, though. I'm going to sell yeah. out. I'm going to do drugs. I'm going to do all this stuff. It's better yeah, on yeah. this path." Okay, yeah. so. Let's phone him up and tell him that the uh, the path that I'm on has actually got me a bit closer to God, I would say. Oh. <laughs> yeah, let's phone him this up. This is more, okay, you're going religious with it. You're going to go. Yeah, with yeah, the, yeah, yeah. It's you're got, like well, impress him vibe. I'm more enlightened now, that's for right, sure. Right, of course. I'm like on different plane than he'll ever be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, is there, okay, I'm dialing it up. Okay, great. Yeah, dial him up. Yeah. There we go. It's ringing. It's ringing. Oh my god, his ringtone is angel music. Listen to that. How does how does he how do you how does he have a custom ringtone on your end? That's oh, crazy. Shit, he might be doing really well. <laughs> <clears throat> Yours in Christ, Pastor Dave. <laughs> Pastor Dave. I just you're hear uh... laughing on the other end. That's gotta be a good sign right there. Who's that? Who's on the other end there? I just hear some laughing going on, and you know what? I love the laughter. That's the la that's the that's the. I always say that's the sound of Christ. Uh, who who am I speaking with? Um, it's Chris Chris Wilson. Uh, so you're Pastor Chris Dave now. You're Wilson, not. You're not no. youth Pastor Dave. Oh, listen! I just say Pastor. They. I asked. I asked. But you know Pastor Thompson. He. You know him. Yeah. Yeah, he passed away. Although we like to say he passed her away. <laughs> but so, so the That's new pastor. That's pretty funny. That's pretty yeah, funny. The, yeah. the new pastor, uh, Pastor, uh, uh, it's uh, Julian, uh, Julian, uh, Julian Stevenson. Say it's, uh, it's a woman pastor. I got no problems with it. No problems at all with a woman pastor. Anyway, so she, uh, she did say I was allowed to say pastor on the phone. I can say, I can call myself a pastor. So, so she let me do that. Now, Chris Wilson, I have not heard from you in a while. The prodigal son returns. Hold on, let me go find a <laughs> let me go find a fat pig and kill it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know what back. you mean because I don't know Bible references because oh, I brother didn't. Chris, again, I remember, quit. Brother quit. Chris, I'll tell you about. It. So the prodigal son. You know what? Do you have a Bible a Bible app on your phone? Do you got a Bible um, app on your phone? 
Do I? Yeah, I can load it Just up. Just whip out yep. your Bible app. Okay. Okay. All right. Can you go? You know what? Hang on. I, uh, let's not look. Let's not make this a lesson just yet. Let's not dive into specifics, specific okay. books just yet. I know exactly which one it is, but but first, you know what? I want to know exactly what it is. I want to know exactly how you've been all these years, Chris. It is such a you are a blessing to hear right now, my friend. How you doing? Oh, thank you. Um, I gotta say, this has started off a little differently than I thought. I I will um admit to, I just feel a lot more truthful to you right now I, I, it's uh, just, you, you just sort of have a way about you <laughs> I will hey, admit I don't have, you know what I don't have a way sorry to interrupt you there I don't have sorry. a way that, you know and what that's my okay. way is is that okay you don't mind I, I forgive you I forgive you all right well and I am forgiven and I continue in forgiveness <laughs> and I live in forgiveness but let me tell you something let me tell you something there Chris Wilson I want to tell you two things thing number one I don't have my way all right I have the Lord's way that's what I do the Lord just makes me you know, you want to open up to me? It's because you want to open up to the Lord. And you want to know what the other thing I was going to say about you, Chris? Oh, I remember this about you. You always lifted the most chairs when it was time to clean up after. <laughs> that was you. You were always there. Amanda and Stephanie, you remember those two girls? Yeah, they on the would side? only lift like a couple chairs. But You'd I, be lifting all I, those chairs. I you? was able to show Amanda and Stephanie that I was sort yeah. of tough and, and, could, and strong by yeah. stacking like five or six chairs. You stack. You would stack the most chairs, Chris, and I was always. I was so proud of you for that. I was so proud of you. I would say this man's destined for great things for the Lord. Destined for great things, but for, for some, for the Lord though. And you remember that time when um, uh, all those kids at school kept calling you Itchy Butt Chris, Itchy Butt Chris, Itchy Butt Chris, right? Uh, yeah. I I had forgotten about that, but I'm remembering it now. And yeah. who'd you turn to? Who'd you turn to? Well, I came to you, and I said they. They, 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 I came to you and you said, "That's right. Uh, you're turning to the wrong person. You need to That's turn right. to, to God." To God. That's and then, right. So we opened up a book and and I started um, praying yeah. to God that they that they'd stop yeah. making fun of me and that my butt would clear up from and what, eczema. And what was that book, Chris? You remember that book? That was the Bible. No, um, it was blue like jazz. <laughs> <laughs> well, right, like and I had it, that was really had popular it, during those days. Yeah, I had it wrong, and then you said you're doing the 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 wrong book, wrong book. That's there, right. Chris. Yeah, that's right. I said the wrong book. I said I'll show you the right book. So, uh, listen, Chris, Chris Wilson, will you? What you calling about? Would you? Do you want to help out with some of the? We're doing something with the youth soon, and I'm I'm getting quite old. I'm like in my late forties now, so it's a little a little you know weird for me to be doing the youth stuff. But you know, Pastor Stevenson, she says I'm not quite ready. <laughs> <laughs> Not okay, quite yeah. ready yet. So, uh, but we got some great youth activities coming up. All right, so we're gonna play bocce ball on the front lawn, okay? And then if okay. and if the front lawn's a little too swampy because of that, we had that little uh, uh, water main break that we can't afford to fix. So yeah. we might go to the back paddock, the compound there where we play basketball. We might do some basketball, some hoops there, and then we're gonna have we're gonna have come on in. We're gonna have a bunch of uh, we're gonna have, uh, you know I'm gonna talk for a bit. We're gonna have some pizza, all right? And then we're gonna are, pop in a movie. Are you inviting me to? Are you inviting me to youth group right now? Is yeah, why don't you come on by, Chris? <laughs> you know, the Lord has great plans for you, and I think, well, I think I mean, it would be a great help to have you there. I guess I, 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 I probably could fit in. All right, you know, I've still got, I know you can't see me, but i still got this, this, the same hair. You know, it's it's pulling back oh, yeah. a little bit, but I I, have, I look pretty youthful, I, I'd say, still. So, you know, I'd probably still fit in. Nice hey. with the with the church with the church folk there and see uh, that would be good. If your hair is pulling back, that's just so the Lord can see your eyes a little I, better. Oh my gosh, I've learned to play guitar since, so maybe we could you know. You play the play, guitar for the Lord. Play a little U two, you know, which is one of those ones that really rides the line, you know. Oh, I love you play it. Play with right. or without you, you know. Play with you, or without you, yeah. yeah because yeah. if you play, you're like, who are you actually? You could be singing to a girl <laughs> or yeah, s- switch it. Sing yeah, to God. Yeah. It's a God song. With God or without song. you. And then you say that at the end. You dedicate it, right? You dedicate it to the Lord. That was Anything to the you Lord. Do, you just dedicate it. Well, yeah. so what did you call All right. So with? when I, I got to admit that I, I called, and I need to ask a little bit of forgiveness, um, a Pastor. You're forgiven. That easy. Uh, it's that simple. What? Oh, Done. my goodness. Done. I, I called uh, to gloat. Sir, I, I called to rub in your face that I had won a podcasting award for my podcast. 
Um, but that I can see is not right. Well, and I feel I'll, guilty about that. I'll be Chris. You won a podcast award. I did. You won a yes. podcast and award. <laughs> oh my goodness! You got to come give us some podcasting tips. Most of the kids in the youth group have a podcast. You got to give us some tips. So you got right. a Christian podcast. You got a nice Christian, like a hard Christian podcast going. I always thought it's, you were going to do that. No, no, no. It's not Christian. Uh, God has come up a few times, but it's mostly a uh, a, a comedy podcast. Comedy. Yeah, it's types. like Christian laughs podcast, like jokes. Like good, clean Christian joke humor, right? Sometimes, yeah, but sometimes we say fuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hang on, that was a kind of spicy word there. You just sometimes we say fuck on the podcast. Don't, don't say, okay, hey, Chris. All right, Chris. I just want to take a moment here and pray for that. <laughs> All right, I prayed in my head. I prayed in my head. That word was, that's a tough word to hear. You know, that's a bit of an inner city word, if you, if you understand what I'm saying. Okay, well, so, okay. Chris, mm-hmm. Chris you prom- you're doing it for the Lord, though? When you say these spicy words, is this for the Lord? Ugh. No. I'm afraid that I've been doing it for me. I wanted to win an award. I wanted to get a good podcast that everybody listens to, okay? I've been doing it for me. I've been very vain the whole time. You caught me. Great. And I ask Great. for forgiveness. Wait a minute, I can't just go on and forgive, forgive you if you're going to keep... I assume that now you've won the award, you're going to use the newfound fame to, to make it about the, the, the Lord. Like it's going to do go super Christian now, yeah? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. If I could just get you to forgive me for being vain uh, about uh, starting a podcast, that'd be great, though. And then we well, could just sort of go on our way. Why don't you just forgive me real quick? You know, Chris, your, your vanity is something that I can't forgive you for. Now, I'm not uh, saying I can't... For- I'm just not saying I can't forgive you. I'm saying you need the Lord. Uh, okay, well, why don't you just why don't you just ask him for me to okay, forgive? Okay, well, why don't okay. you why don't you do this for me? Why don't you come by a couple of and we'll have a couple of lessons. You and I will do some one on one walks in the garden. Okay, <laughs> we'll have some pray. We'll do some praying. Okay, you know, and then maybe and then maybe I'll, I'll tell you you're forgiven for that. Okay, you know what? Maybe I'll just, I'll just, um, I'll just, uh, I'll just find, I'll just get someone else to forgive me. It's okay, fine. You know what? I can you get it. Well, anywhere. Maybe, I can get it anywhere. On, I'm going to find someone this, else. No, no, hang on. Maybe I'm just going to write this down right here. Don't you know, write that uh, down. Chris Wilson. Chris Wilson is not forgiven. Are you okay? sending that to God? No matter how. Yeah, I'm sending this straight to God. Dude, don't, don't send that to God. Loud. I will read this out loud in the chapel on the altar. I will put this God. on the altar and I will burn it on the altar. It will become. It will go straight to God, and He will not oh, forgive God you. God damn it! Don't, yeah. Unless you agree, no. Don't say that. God damn it. I'm Don't sorry. Don't say that because that's what you're going to be if you're not careful. So you guarantee me three free podcast lessons for the youth to teach okay, them how to make Okay, okay. I'll give you the super. podcast lessons. You give me three podcast lessons, I'll forgive you. Okay, Advantage. okay. I'll be I'll be by on – is it still ha- – everything happens on Sunday still? Just like you, it it's, used to? It's, yeah, Sundays and then a real inconvenient time on Wednesday evenings. Oh, uh, right? okay. Every, all the kids that. are done school, and they're just like, ah, nice Wednesday. Maybe I'll go see a movie. <laughs> nope. Their parents remind them they got youth group to go to. Okay. Okay. I'll be by on Sunday and then at that really inconvenient time on Wednesday. Yeah, real inconvenient time. And you'll forgive start... me for being vain? Well, let's see how these lessons go, Chris. Okay. Listen, I, All right. You know, people okay. think I'm a nice, soft man of God, but I'm actually a real feisty businessman, and I get what I want. <laughs> All right, okay, so you go uh, teach thanks, those kids uh, how to make Christian podcasts. Thank you, pa- Pastor. Thank you. I'll, I'll see you. I'll see you on Sunday. All right, you're welcome. Go in Christ. I'll go wherever I want, however I want. Yep, as long as it's in Christ, you can do <laughs> well, whatever you want. I can do it by myself. I don't need to have my hand held. So you can do whatever you want to do to whoever uh, you want, as long as you say it's in Christ. Well, I'm my own person, and I do myself in the Chris way. So that well, I'm going you in are God's. You God owns you, and you are part of God's family. So. Well, not a part of a family that well, if I don't want to be i if i i was adopted let's just well, say i'm sounds, adopted so that sounds like prodigal son talk sounds like you're gonna come on back come crawling back to god at some point don't worry okay he's waiting Still, okay well he can All wait right. so well he I'm, he's I'm gonna wait he can wait for the entire <laughs> length of the universe <laughs> great and i and we'll see and i can i'm a good i'm good at waiting too very patient all right very well he'll wait guy. just a bit longer he can wait one more year longer than you can <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got I to gotta go. I got to talk. I got to go. I got to talk to my lawyer. Don't ask. All right. All right. <laughs> best, best in Christ. Bye. Yeah. Well. <sighs>
<laughs> when I thought, okay, so when mm-hmm. I thought you were like, oh, I'm going to call my youth pastor. Yeah. Honestly, I thought your youth pastor was going to be more typical, like, um, like, hey, how's it going? Like, yeah, I, don't under- I didn't know that he was going to be a real Southern Baptist. Like, you didn't know? You went to church with him. Uh, I just, you know, I didn't know that my brain would forget, is what I meant. <laughs> that he was I just that thought way. it was... I just thought it was a totally weird choice. Like if it was, uh, you know, if it was made up or whatever, it would be like, wow, really? <laughs> That's what you're going with? I, I mean, I, I liked him. You know, it's it was very, <laughs> um, very rich, uh, evangelical. Uh, yeah. Uh, he sounded rich. And I, I think he is. He He's sounded rich, rich, but I will say this. like he, he had he, lots of rings. You know he sounded, I mean? yeah, and he sounded happy. He sounded proud of you for a second and then immediately turned it to his own gain. <laughs> Which, you know, that's kind of par for the course. It's kind of par. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah. I've, been, I've been a part of that, you know. <laughs> People, um, there was a certain type of person at church that was very <laughs> judgmental and ready yeah. to judge, but, you know. The uh, the uh, glass stones or what was the is that biblical? Don't glass, thro- uh, people yeah, in glass don't throw, houses yeah. shouldn't throw glass stones. It's too much glass. I don't too know much if that glass. is biblical. I want to check in if that's biblical because did they even have glass in the Bible times? <laughs> I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Jesus was a uh, window painter. He would uh, <laughs> he would uh, put up windows. In, you know like, what? I gotta be buildings. honest with you. I think I think your youth pastor forcing you to come back to church for a few more lessons uh, might g- be good for you. <laughs> so real quick, Chris, did, uh, do you feel satisfied uh, with everybody who called? Did you want to call somebody, one last person? You want to call? You want to call your, you know, your dad or something, and uh, kind of like? Oh sure, I mean yeah, I could show him me. that you've made it. Okay, I'll call my dad up real quick. Yeah, it's a quick one. It's a quick one. Oh, here we go. It's re- it's my home phone number. I have it listed as home. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hey, Dad. It's me, Chris, the other son. Oh. Hey, son. How you doing? Uh, pretty good. Listen, we won a Canadian podcasting award. I just wanted you to know that. This is where you might say that you're proud. Oh, all right. Is that for the um? That's for that little thing with uh? What's it with Peter there? Yeah, so we won an award. I'm feeling pretty chuffed about it. Okay, that's <laughs> which good. Which means, means confident. That's good. That's that's really good. That's really good. So you're still doing it? You're still doing all right over there? Yep, and so this w- could be a time where you say you're proud. Still doing all those auditions? You're doing auditions still? And Yeah, no, lots of auditions, lots yep. of... What's in that? Hey, but, and how's that? Yeah. Uh, how's that uh, real? You know, sorry, not real. How's that job? How's the, you know, the paid work there? Uh, this hour is uh, twenty-two minutes, right? You're doing that still? Yeah, doing going that. Well? Doing that still? I'm, I'm how's that going? Right that's now. going good. I haven't won an award for it yet, or, or uh, anything. That's real great, uh, though. That's real great. Because what I phoned you about is the podcast. You want to be proud uh, of me. You want to be proud of me for for that for right now. All right, listen, Chris. Yep. Um. I'm proud of you for a lot of things, all right? I'm proud yeah. I'm proud of you for uh, getting through school, all right? Yeah. I'm proud of you for uh, making a lot of friends, you know, uh, having good relationships, all right? I'm, yeah. I just can't, I can't. What? All right, I can't. <laughs> you can't what? I can't, I cannot be, I can be proud of you for a lot of things. I cannot be proud of you for a podcast award. All right, I just, I can't do it. <laughs> Son? It's it's like a it's like a bee it's like a beagle as a pet. It's just a terrible idea. Okay, this is not. <laughs> What's wrong with listen beagles? To listen to me. They're a terrible, useless pet. Useless pet. Uh, I don't like them. They're dumb. They have all sorts of hip problems, and uh, you're basically just bringing something into the world that's going to suffer greatly. And and that's what I want. I don't, I don't want to say about your about the podcast thing. Now listen to me, Chris. Okay, I'm going to give you a little tough love here. Did you ask? Did you basically just email them and ask to, to be considered and to win? Yeah, I'm not going to yeah. lie. So what we right. did was we just filled out an application <laughs> form. Um, an application form, right. And then we sort of just waited. We yeah, submitted you, you a, um, an episode for consideration right? And that we'd already episode, filmed. What episode did you consider that? I, I honestly, I can't really remember. Yeah, you can't it was remember. one of the earlier ones. Yeah, 
one of the so, earlier ones, right? <laughs> so it was probably a lot. It felt fresher then. You gave one of the earlier ones when you guys had a bit more of a, uh, your hands around the idea a bit more. You kind of knew what you were doing a bit more, maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And this the, is the uh, same. This is the same podcast where sometimes you just stop doing episodes for a bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All this right. is this is that podcast. So. Okay. So you're not. So you're not all right, proud. Chris, well, all right. How about this? Why don't you just uh, you let me know if you need any money and uh, you know say say hi to say hi to you, uh, your friends out there and and I will. Uh, I, and let me know I, if that butt thing's clearing up. The thing on your butt. Let me know if it's, it, clearing it's up. My nose back. Yeah, it's back. And uh, okay. okay. So yeah, and if right. you, yeah, I'll, I will take you up on the money. Just um, email transfer is fine. The usual amount, the usual monthly amount. We've been yeah, sending. The, just the normal allowance that yeah, I yeah for ten years. Yeah. 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 You know, um, Eric, uh, your brother recently uh, yeah, just started, he's, a, started a new infrastructure project. It looks like a really big yeah, project. He's, yeah, he's going to be a, a doctor of engineering, he is, literally. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. Doctorate of engineering. Yeah, yeah, he's getting yeah, his I've, doctorate in being an engineer. So. I've, uh, I, sort I, of I like an architecture you, lawyer sort of situation. Yeah, an architect lawyer. I don't mind telling <laughs> you this, Chris, but uh, in my – so I am an, I'm a doctor. And uh, I'll be in my practice, and I'll look in the mirror sometimes, and I'll pro- I'll say, you know, Doctor Wilson, like I'm talking to your to your brother, Eric. I'm getting ready to say, you know, Doctor to him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You practice. What yeah, do it's you a practice? Real big looking project. What do you project practice saying to me? All right. Well, that's your mother. She's uh, texting <laughs> me from the other room. I should probably go get dinner ready. But you're good. The usual amount of money. We'll send the usual. Yeah. Amount. Just the usual allowance is great. Th- thanks, Dad. All right, great. Love All you. Right. Say it back. Yep. Yep. <laughs> really happy, you know, with uh, with you and your brother, and your brother's doing that big project, and and uh, everything's. All right. Well, I'll talk to you in a bit. There. Don't get a beagle. <laughs> <laughs> was your dad too mean, or was that just like probably? <laughs> no, I liked him. I liked him. I love. I love my dad. Okay, honestly, this has fallen off the rails entirely. Like, we don't, we have, we, we could probably do one more guess if you wanted, we but could, like, is there somebody I, you that we needed yeah. to really get to the bot? Because, like, so far, okay, youth pastor, there's been he one was guest He's, yeah. on our show that um, they were like pretty nasty guests, I would say. They're probably our worst guest. Um, and Can I just want to show where Lisa the, Gilroy, she was fine. No, 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 she was great. Um, we had Jay Baruchel on, and he was oh. awful, and I'd love to rub it in his face. Oh, my God, Jay Baruchel. Yeah. He and I have a thing. We kind of have, like, a bit I of know. a rivalry. I know. So maybe maybe he'd be more of a friend of the pod if he knew it was an award-winning pod. Yeah, maybe he'd finally come on it again yeah. uh, for a, a second time. For a second time. Properly. Yeah, and, and have a better attitude. Yeah, let's call that fucking piece of shit up. And then like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, phone him up. Phone him up. Okay, you oh you might. I'll call him. I'll call him. Yeah, you phone him. Google. Dial, Nemesis. Okay. Oh, it's ringing. It's ringing, and I think his ringtone is, is the, um, is the theme from This Is the End. What was that? <laughs> oh, no, I can hear it right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is... I don't really recognize that. <laughs> uh, uh, hello? It's just who disturbs my slumber? I was sleeping. I was in a full-blown sleep. And now you've absolutely woken me up. Who the shit is this? Oh, my God. Listen. All right. Listen to me. Jay, this is... Don't hang up. This is Peter... Carlone from this time it's different. I know who that voice I already can tell. <laughs> I know who you are. You've haunted my nightmares. I was just having a dream about you and not a good one. <laughs> it wasn't one of the positive dreams. Let me tell what were you, you. What were you dreaming about, Jay? I'm already in a it's like I'm in an inception level nightmare here. I wake up from a nightmare <laughs> that I was having about you and now I'm friggin' talking to you. I don't know. You know what? What were you, what were you, you know dreaming what about? Name comes up when I uh, when I uh, when you phone me. What? You know what? You know what name comes up? Peter Carlone. <laughs> I don't get fancy with it, because just in case, because if I put something else in there, I might forget who it was. I want to absolutely remember this name. 
so that I never ever pick it up. But I was sleeping. What was I doing? What was I thinking? Arrgh. Jay, listen. Just shake yes. the grog off, okay? We got to talk. Right. First of all, I'll shake it off. Just give me a moment. You were having a bad dream. I might make this dream Arrgh. come even more worse. Here, uh, your out. reality is going to be worse than the dream in a second. What was I doing in the dream? What was what was the dream? You were in the bath, and you were uh, you were <laughs> you're the Eb you had poured too many Epsom salts into the bath. Yeah, fair. And uh, you didn't have any bubble, but you had just drawn a full bath, and uh, you you were in there, <laughs> and it was a nightmare because I wanted to be in that bath. I wanted to have a bath, and you were in my bath. Wait, hold on a second. <laughs> hold on a second. Yes. I'm starting to see some like psychological stuff. I mean, your spot where you want to be, you, kind of a thing. Exactly. It's just that you were in my bathroom, and you had used all of the hot water. I don't have a very big hot water tank at all, and you've used it all up. And you I used just, up your th I, I couldn't even, even if I wanted to have a bath directly after you. It wouldn't have been possible because you'd drain the water and then I'd try to fill it up with hot water. And, and this is what you said in my dream. You said, I'm used up all the hot water, you fuck. <laughs> and I'm going to have a three-hour bath. And then at the end of this bath, I'm going to heat it up again. And then I'm going to let the water out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a real piece of shit in your dreams. <laughs> yes, you're a real piece but of shit. Shit in my dreams, and you're a piece of shit in real life because you phoned me up when I was sleeping. Jay, listen, listen. This is why I'm calling you, okay? I'm calling okay. you because I think I see maybe a path towards ending our nemesis here. That yes. you know what that dream tells me? That what dream tells it? me that you want to be in the same area as me. You just don't want me to use up all the bath, and you want to be in that bath, and you're upset that I'm already in the bath. But like, what if? You got in the bath with me. What? Explain, Peter. Go on, please. I'm listening to you okay. with with all with baited ears yeah. and baited yeah. breath. Okay, wait. I bought Hang some on. bait from the tackle shop. <laughs> okay. Of life and listening, and I've baited my ears with little worms, and my breath also has little worms on it too. It's bait, <laughs> okay. It's baited. All right, listen, I hated that metaphor, but it's clear. It's clear what you're saying. And let me just say this. I'm going to just make sure that I'm not on speaker here. This is going to be a private call. All right. Okay. All right, so it's just you and me, okay? okay. Here's the thing. Jay, I got to call you, all right? The reason I'm calling you is because, you know, podcast this time is different. You know how, like, early days there were maybe 10 people listening to it, and that's when we yes. had you on? Yes, you had me okay. on to play Would You Rather. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, hey, You stumped me because I couldn't Yeah, he stumped you good. What I would rather. Okay. It really here's the threw thing. me. And I well, and never here's the... let you get away with this. <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing, Jay. It's gotten so much bigger. To the what? point that we have now won an award for Canadian comedy podcasts. Comedy, like, we won a comedy podcast award. Oh, my God. I love one of those words that you said. Canadian. <laughs> I love that word. That's like my favorite word. And we're on the same... Jay, sorry, we're on <laughs> sorry, I stopped listening after you said Canadian. I didn't even know what you're talking about yet. Because <laughs> I stopped listening because I was so excited. This is great. Canadian what? And what? Co comedy Podcast Awards. Sorry, I didn't hear those words because I don't care about them as much. Would you say them one more time? <laughs> We won a Canadian. Yes, I love this word. Yeah, okay, yes. come back down, come back down. Okay. Comedy. Oh, I do that sometimes. With there Chad we Apichow go. And Seth Rogen. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And uh, James Franco. All and, right. And uh, Danny McBride. And, Gay. Uh, and uh, yeah. Will Ferrell sometimes. Okay, and, come back down. Uh, Jack Black. Come back down, uh, wind down. part of the frat pack. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, your father. <laughs> yeah, guess, that frat I pack's not doing so well these days. <laughs> no, I guess not. <laughs> yeah. well, kind of disbanded uh, the frat pack a bit. I loved doing comedy with Judd Apatow. He would just let us say whatever we wanted. Yeah, he, kind he of had say written whatever a you whole, want right now. A whole three-hour script, and then he said, "Just add more." <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> and then he also, and then he also just he would not edit it. He would just keep it all in. Yes, that was the best part about it. For that, all my riffs. 
If you're like, that was a weird riff, doesn't matter. It's okay, going to be in so the movie. Okay, so wait, hold on. I'm with you. Canadian. Okay, comedy. 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 Yeah. Well, there was one last word. Podcast. Oh, there's podcast. I yeah. know those. I've been on those. Yep. I'm a fan of the doing those. I get to go on them and wax poetically. <laughs> okay. Award is the last word. <laughs> Award. Yeah. You want... Let, hold on. You, you don't know this. Canadian you don't know this word? Podcast. Yep. Canadian Comedy Podcast Award. Yep. So that means that you've won an award... Oh, it's a long For walk, hey, AJ. You... <laughs> <laughs> you doing Wait all right there, Jay? You want that some water? That means that you're at the top, and I'll never I be think... at the top. I wanted this... to have a podcast, and now you've already won the award, and you won my favorite award to boot, <laughs> the Canadian one. What, I'm going to have to win an American podcast award? I'm not American. I'm Canadian. Through Jay, and through. This... I understand that you're Canadian, but this is what I'm trying to get. Get at, okay? out of my bath, Peter. You're no, in my Jay. metaphorical bath. No, I'm trying I, to you're in my do some backroom dealing with you here. Hot water up. <laughs> I'm not trying to steal Jay. I'm not trying to steal your thunder here. This is not a steal thunder moment. What I'm saying is, and oh, hear me now out. You're trying to steal my thunder as well. No, this is a. I want some of your thunder. Okay. Okay. What if? Listen. Let's yes. just say. Okay, not everybody on the podcast has to be permanent. Right. I hear what if you're I want to, br- if I'm trying to break this podcast into the bigger levels. Okay. Into the Rat Pack, into American Comedy Podcast Awards. I'm following you. We keep it Canadian. We still have the Canadian love. We can still talk about Canadian stuff that you like to talk about. I got you. Yes. Maybe. The people in the bath, right? Because you had a dream, you were dreaming about me. I'm on your mind okay. all the time. Maybe we're in the bath together. Oh, I totally understand what you're saying. Right? Yes. I'm going to have a podcast with you. It's you and I till the end. I'm going to take over your podcast and then push you down and take over. This no, is wait. amazing. I need to Why start getting you... podcasting equipment right away. Oh, Why would great. you immediately say you're going to take me down? Why would Thank you say you that out loud? Thank you for inviting me to your podcast, Peter, because now I'm going to do what I always do and step on the little guy. And you're the little guy. I'm going to go and try and find a mic right now. Will you, will you no, go no. on hold? Will you go on hold? No, I don't want to go on hold while you find a mic. I'm phoning Best Buy. Oh, God. <clears throat> it's ringing. It's ringing. Hi. Welcome to Best Buy. If you'd like to, if you know the department, five you're trying for to get Spanish, a hold of. please. Hola, <laughs> bienvenidos a Best Buy. Si, oh God! Si, por favor, numero. This is cultural uno. appropriation. That's what this is. This is cultural appropriation right here. This is, I gotta take down Best Buy. I gotta Dianos take you down. You're never gonna hear from me. This is it. This is the end of the. This is the end of the podcast episode. Dos or uh, uh, we've left it off on a cliffhanger of Jay Baruchel. And Jay Baruchel is gonna go and take down Best Buy for cultural appropriation. Dialo numero tres. Por That's where we've left it. <laughs> video gamers. You're not gonna hear from Peter and Chris again because this is the end. Por this is the end of it. Now. This time, this time, this time, this time, it's different. With Peter and Chris. This time, this time, this time, this time, it's different. This podcast has been brought to you by the Sonar Network. Sonar! Oops, drop the podcast. What if people liked and also subscribed? I think we're just down here to kill time.